Hey everyone, it's Shaper 1000 here today. <laughs> uh, I'm going. I want to get something running. So let's see that. Ah, too easy. We know it runs. We had it running not too long ago. Let's see what else we got here. That no <clears throat> batteries are bad. Takes eight batteries. Costs about a thousand dollars put batteries in it, and it's got electrical issues. So that's going to be another video. Uh, let me see here. We got this thing. Motors off of it. It's got a balloon engine. Uh, nope. This thing we had running. I don't know, three or four years ago. It's not locked up. Maybe. This thing. All right. Got this a couple years ago. I actually forgot I had it for over a year. I remember getting this now. Hmm. Okay, well. I know it needs a blade. It shouldn't stop us from starting it. We're trying to. Supposedly it ran, of course, when it was put up in a garage. But it had issues and I can't remember what they were. Well, let's go get... Huh. Okay. Well, let's go get the John Deere in the trailer. Let's pull this around front and uh, see what we can do with it.
Alright. Well, we'll have to blow some of that off first. And see what's going on with it. It's self-propelled. I don't think I even knew about that. If I did, it was at the time, but not now, because I couldn't even remember I had it. Alright, I'm gonna get it blown off best I can, then let's see what we can do with this old thing. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is assess this thing. First thing we're gonna do is just cut on oil in it. Now I know the first thing I gotta do is find my cable for the engine brake. That you pull that lever up here and it pulls this back. I have it, I don't know where it is. Oh, that's a worm. <laughs> I thought it was a stick, it scared me. Um, I was gonna put it on another one but it wouldn't work, so I know I have it in the garage there. <laughs> yeah, in there somewhere. Okay, it's got some oil in it. Be enough to try to start it. <clears throat> Briggs and Stratton, it is a Troy built. There we go. 21 inch cut. What's it say? Let me put my glasses on here. 6.75. Series 190cc. Let's see what's going on in here. Hopefully there's nothing in it. A uh, little bit of condensation but no gas. That's good. So maybe the carburetor will be okay. Uh, like I said, it is... It is... Uh, Self-propel. Fast and slow. I don't know if this has an unlock on it to where you can push it. Because right now it does not want to push. That wheel's locked up. But let me get you on the stand. Let me try to find that cable. And then I guess our first thing will be is to try to find spark. Well, I'll see if it's got spark, and then if it don't, we'll try to find it. Okay, so, this thing's cool. Uh, <clears throat> kind of locked on there, but it's probably rusted on. That one's got one right here. This is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to pop off like that. So then, you hook your garden hose up to that. Click that on there. Start it up and kick your motor blades in, and, uh, It'll clean that out from under there. I figured this would have been a pretty easy fix when I first got it, but I forgot I had it for over a year. Um, so, I don't know, guys. This handle will pull out. I don't even know if I. I can't even remember if I had those or not. I'd have to look at the video. But let me get you on the stand. First thing we'll do, put that cable on, then we'll check it for spark. Great news. I found it. All right, so. First thing. All right, I'm going to put this in here first. It's just got this little... Little thing on there, there's a little hole right in here. It just goes in like that, that's it. And this, it's got an S turn. Let me raise you up here. Just got this little S turn here. Put that in there. That's that. Now down here on the bottom, it's pretty simple too. Let me get you down here. Now this is fairly simple too. It's got one of these little ass turns like up on top. That's gonna to go in this hole down here, right there. Just like that. Now you're gonna pull this. Pull this back. And shove it in there, and that's that. Now, there it goes. Okay? It's that simple. See it pulling that? that it's not only a brake that stops the flywheel from turning, it, there's also a kill switch. So when it's in back when it's back in this position, 
when you let go of the handle it hits a kill switch then the brake helps stop the mower so a lot of guys will do that and sometimes it's just like hitting a stump um, but there's that let's see let's see if the engine will pull over I don't even know if it's locked up and it's not but but we'll have to do some work on this thing that might have been the issue he was talking about I do know it needs a blade though a couple Phillips screwdrivers let's take this top off of here and uh, get down inside here and see if we can't fix that recoil okay we've got our little driver here Okay, so what I'm looking at here, uh, this has all got to be blown out anyhow. I'm probably going to have to take this whole top off of here. Because I can see right now this recoil starter is, um, is riveted on. I don't know though, I might be able to shoot some paint penetrating oil in there. And mess around with it. But is it quicker just to pull it apart? Probably. So let me mess around with that. What's this? Plastic. Okay, so sometimes if you tap them, I can see it moving. So I'm going to try to put some penetrating oil in there. And see what happens first and I'll blow it out some more. Alright guys, I think I messed up. It's going to be one of them days already. I went over the footage and I set them screws right down here. I went ahead and blew this out. You guessed it. I didn't move the screws. Here's one. But that's alright. I'll find it later in the tractor tire, I'm sure. Alright. Back to business. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this. I'm just going to pull this off and do it. So that way I can make sure there's no mice nest or whatnot up in there. If there is, that's what that fan inside here, when it's running, blows air out and it blows it inside of here, your shroud, and it blows down across these fins to keep it cool. If that gets plugged up, it'll run hot and you'll have big problems. Okay guys, to pull this off, what I'm going to do, there's three 5 16 or 8 millimeter, either one will work on them, to take this, this uh, fuel tank off, because there's a screw or a bolt down here, it's just 10 millimeter, there's a bolt here, a bolt here, and then there's two on the back, I'll show them to you here in just a second, but let's go ahead, let's get this tank out of our way I hope I don't have to blow anything out again because that was a rookie mistake not actually because I've been doing this stuff for 43 years and I never not do that <laughs> well I can't say never but it still happens you know what I mean okay so what's on the bottom of this here get this screw out of here before we lose that one all right all right there is a there's a bolt underneath I think it's 10 millimeter let's go ahead and take it off it's down under here uh oh what happened I think it just went dead no it's got one bar <laughs> this will only be like third time I ever charged this thing maybe fourth that 
to you. There it is. Shoulder bolt. That's what these are called, too. Shoulder bolts. See, they got a shoulder on them. All right. Now, like I said, down here in the back, got that one straight down, and this one that's straight down. 10 millimeter. Same with the two up front here. So let's go ahead. See if I got enough juice to do this. Probably not. All right, I'm gonna have to charge this battery, but in the meantime, we'll do it the old-fashioned way with wrenches. <laughs> Let me go get a 10 millimeter wrench. Okay, guys. So that um, my uh, I put it on the charger. It's on a delay hot cold delay so I'm guessing it was cold because it got down no kidding 38 degrees last night 38 guys I'm in Florida <laughs> all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take these out I'll take the back ones back out so I don't bore you with it and uh, And I'll kick you back on when I'm getting ready to pull the top off of here. So stick around. Like I said, it's just two bolts in the back. Just those two straight down. I'm going to get an extension. So sit tight. Let's have fun. <laughs> and I forgot to tell you, there's another 8 millimeter up here that holds your dipstick tube in. You can pull this off and leave the dipstick tube on it, but I don't like to do that because there's more of a chance of getting dirt down into your crankcase, um, which is never a good thing. You can if you want. It's just something I don't do because there's especially something that's been sent like this, all that dirt. Just a, just a piece of dirt or a piece of sand, you know, the size of a... Uh, of a grain of salt can hurt your engine okay so I've got all these bolts out now let's go ahead and lift this up off of here there we go it's set up kind of like a Tecumseh so the, the spring is up inside of here so I may have to loosen that and get up in the spring but I'm gonna to try to spray some penetrating fluid down in there first see if we can get that string or that spring loosened up so that's supposed to these are called dogs yeah. these plastic things they pull out when you start it to just and they engage inside this cup here then uh, then as they go as the rope goes back in they these go back in so that's my guess. It's just going to need. Hopefully, the spring is not broke. That could be the issue, but I can't remember what issue he said it had. Maybe he didn't even remember. So let me spray that around and mess with it a little bit. If we got to take it apart, then I'll I'll kick you back on. Uh, got to be real careful when you take them apart. But and I got to blow some of this out too. Throttle's not stuck but I need to blow all this out so I gotta get all my screws up out of the way get all this stuff out of here so it doesn't come out if it starts it doesn't come flying out at me okay just to clarify something real quick when I was moving this and I said the throttles not stuck I wasn't meaning this this is the governor I was looking right down here's the throttle right in here that's a throttle right there that's what I was technically talking about I should have should have said something, but I didn't think about it till just now. So, all right, back to business. Okay, you can see it's all wet in there. Well, all I did was spray some of this stuff down in there, super tech, and uh, pulled it like three times. And check it out. So you can see them dogs come out, and then when you let go, they go back in. All right, I got, here's the magnets I was talking about. Let me get you, I wanna show you something here. So,
here's the magnets I don't know if I was yeah anyway there's the magnets for the coil okay so I'm gonna clean them up and I know on Terrell fixes all he uh, he said that they they stated in an old uh, update thing that they send out on you know mowers and stuff that it didn't matter if you cleaned them or not but I mean I look highly I look up highly to this guy's very very good small engine mechanic so I'm not really contradicting him um, but I can tell you for a fact that they said a bulletin came out and said that rust there will not cause these things not to start but I have on many on more than one occasion I have uh, taken these apart that didn't have spark and just cleaned them just the magnets never even touched that just clean the magnets and it gave it spark because rust remember that gap is very very tiny see there's, there's actually a gap in there see it and if you get rust build up on that it's going to hit that which is not going to give it spark it's not going to you know it has to have an air gap there well if that's the case it won't have spark right so you know but anyway yeah Terrell fixes all check him out he's awesome uh, here's that brake I was telling you about right there let me see if I can squeeze the handle here and you should see I pull away from set so when you shut this off here's the switch right here right there's that little it's not really a switch it just grounds out and grounds out the coil and shuts the spark off see when I pull that away it'll run but as soon as I let go of that this grounds out kills power to the coil shuts it off and this just keeps it from running you know well they don't run but you know how when you shut it shut them over off sometimes they do 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 that's that's that pretty much stops it immediately so also if you don't have one that's shutting off which yes that'll happen you start it and then you know you try to release the brake and it doesn't want to shut off check this thing right here now some of these have a band that goes clear around but this one that's all this one Briggs and Stratton has here also uh, what this does this is this is your governor so when this is running and these are this is like the fan I was telling you about that shoots air across the the head um, this blows this out okay so when it's running and it's like this it'll actually be uh, like idling and then as this needs more power so if this slows down it's not blowing this out as much so it lets it come back which in turn gives it throttle that's how these work and they work very well I mean when you hear them just I mean it's amazing how how uh, sensitive these things are and how good they are so all right let me uh what's I gonna do we'll check that filter see if it needs blown out um, then uh, I'm gonna get a piece of sandpaper I'm gonna clean the magnets off I'll squeeze the handle and put something up there and then I'll give this a spin and see if I got a little bit of spark there uh, before I put that back on this does not have points it's electronic ignition okay so I just pulled this off I didn't actually it was loose I just took this off with my fingers check that out that's pretty nasty that's gonna need to be blown out and it's real nasty down the side uh, that's not reusable anymore and uh, now it'll run without these but sometimes they don't run right sometimes you know it has to have it has to feel that you know it's kind of like giving it a little bit of choke but we're going to see if we can get it running without it see how good it runs I don't know how much money I want to put in this monkey's been on me for like the last year that I didn't know after I found out I had it to she remembered I had it because she was driving down the road and she said well you got that push riding mower and I was like what the hell are you talking about I don't know if she meant that it was a uh, because I looked at her and said what would you just say to me uh, I don't know if she meant that it was self-propelled or what but anyway that's what she said and I forgot I had it and then ever since then she's like well you need to get that running I don't know if she wants me to sell it or what but I'm gonna have to buy a blade I'm going to have to buy the keeper for the blade, the bolt for the blade. Because I don't, 
I don't have any of that. I've got a blade in there, but I don't think it's it's not going to work on this. So, you know, that's what I'm going to have to do. And like that filter, you know, I'll have to get, you know, I'll have to take care of that filter. Um, so you got to watch how much money you put in these things, you know. Um, if it ran great, it is a bagger, and I don't have the bag for it. But it does have a chute here. But, you know, I'd probably get 50 bucks out of this if it was running perfect. Uh, that one tire's, you know, balled over there on the other side. So I don't know. We'll just, we'll just have to see because these, these filters are expensive, man. I've paid, you know, $15, $17 for one of these. Now, I can probably get them online. If you get them online, you can get two of them. Really cheap. Now, they don't last real long, but you get two of them. So we'll just have to see, you know, how much... I got in this I don't think I've got much in this because I bought a bunch of stuff off of a guy his name's Dave and uh, I just gave him one money for a whole bunch of stuff so you know let's say I got 20 bucks in this if I if I can put 20 in it and it's running fine and sell for 50 I'm making 10 but I'd really like to double my money you know what I mean so I'd have to have 80 bucks out of it. I don't know if it's worth 80 bucks because that you know that front tire being bald really makes it look bad We'll just have to see what I can get the parts for. If I can stay under 30 bucks on this thing, then I will sell it. I can put 50 on it. I'm not, you know, really doubling my money, but it's close enough. Um, so, and her John Deere, the mower belt's ready to break. It's not going to cut the grass again. So, all right, let me get this cleaned off here. I'm going to blow this out, move my bolts again I'm gonna blow this out and uh, wait no I was wrong about that this is not the governor guys I want to this is important what I showed you now a lot of the vein governors do work that way but this is actually the choke here's the governor right here it's got an internal governor right here's the governor and right down there's the throttle so disregard what I said this is the choke now I've never I don't know why it would need to choke like that that I don't know that, that doesn't make sense to me uh, I've never seen one like that I don't think but there's the governor that's the governor arm so all right anyway guys like i said let me get the magnets cleaned off on this side and i'll check and see if we got spark and then i'll blow this carburetor out i don't know how much carburetor cleaner i got but we'll get this blown out the best we can so it's not sucking any of that up in there because that looks bad yeah all right hang tight guys i'm just going to do those quick little things so you don't get bored of watching me clean stuff let's move on okay guys so i got the magnets cleaned up on the flywheel and what i did was i stuck the end of this into the spark plug wire and i turned the uh flywheel back and forth and i could feel spark so while my my impact driver's charging. I'll just use this, Mr. Handy Dandy thing from Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. Then I'll better set this thing to ratchet, huh? we go then I'll check them with my ratchet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all this stuff back together and, uh, and I'll kick it back on when we're getting ready to try something I'm not even gonna pull that plug out out of there yet it might be all right 
just clean this end off here. Sometimes that'll cause you an issue on an intermittent spark. That looks like the original plug. All right, now I'm just gonna put this back on. Just reverse process, nothing special you have to do, so I'm gonna save you that. Okay guys, we're gonna put some fuel in here. I just got some mixed fuel. Now this is not what's in here. This is what came out of the boat. Um, but the boat's 50 to 1, 41. It may smoke a little bit. It's not going to hurt it. If anything, it's been sitting a long time. It will help it, you know. So let's put this. How many of you guys seen that and didn't tell me? There's the other one. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. All right. Going to be a good day. Also, write down in the comments below right now. How many cranks you think there's no primer on this thing so but it's Briggs and Stratton it's my favorite small engine Briggs and Stratton uh, like I said there's a little condensation in here but there's not enough I'm gonna I'm gonna worry about there's no dirt of course there's no rust it's a plastic tank That should be enough. All right. What do you guys think? I'm going whole hog. I'm going one pool. Okay, so let me move you over here, out the way. I'll stand you up a little bit higher. We don't know. I know, I felt spark, but I don't know if it's got good spark. I don't know if that plug's any good. I'm going whole hog. I'm going to say one crank, it'll fire up. So hang tight. Let me get you up here out of the way. All right, guys, what's your guesses? I'm going to say one crank. I put the carburetor cover back on, but I left there clean her out. Right there. Right on. Briggs and Stratton, baby, yes. Okay, so it started and died. Um... Could be a carburetor issue. I'm gonna take a little break and we'll uh we'll see if the carburetor's getting enough fuel. Okay guys, so let's pull this carburetor off real quick. There's two bolts here, they should go all the way through. This charged up, believe it or not, in about a half an hour. It's a rapid charge. And The fuel line feels pliable, so, okay, maybe these don't go all the way through. All right, so I get these off, set them there for now. Let me move you over, see what we got. Oh, up here on top. Trick me. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull this line off. I need to get a pair of pliers. I'll pull this line off see if it's getting enough fuel. Uh, maybe I didn't put enough in it. I don't know. Looks pretty dirty. I don't have any carb cleaner. Um, I do have some starting fluid somewhere. But I didn't want to spray it on there earlier because I didn't want some to go inside and us get a false reading on that start. I have a lot of... What the hell? I have a lot of faith. I have a lot of faith in these Briggs and Strattons. So let me get a pair of pliers and I'm going to pull this line off and I'll see if it's getting fuel. Okay guys, just to show you, it is getting, it is getting fuel, but it looks like there may be some water in that. It looks real cloudy. So I'm going to let that drain itself out. I got a cap here. It's real hard to tell in a black cap, but let me see if I got something clear. We'll see how much water is in there. Maybe there's some water I couldn't see. I did find a little bit of water in there, more than what I thought was, and there's some dirt in there. So what I'm going to do is 
I filled my can up over there with fuel from the from the John Deere. I'm gonna put that line back on and I'm gonna put a bunch of fresh fuel in there. Now it'll take it a little bit of starting and quitting because that bowl's probably got water in it. Um, hopefully it's just condensation or what was in the tank. We'll have to see. I really don't wanna take that carburetor, that bowl off that carburetor if I don't have to because if I break that seal, I don't have another one to put on it. So, let me get that line put back on and we'll fill it up with fuel, fresh fuel. And also blew the tank out with compressed air. So hopefully this thing will run and hopefully it's just a little water in that carburetor that hasn't been in there for three years. But, you know, we'll see. I'm going to put this back on. the same yeah they look to be and uh, yeah we'll see if we can start this thing up and keep it running um, I'll have to see how much a blade is and the attachment for the blade and a lot of times too guys these some of these things won't even run without the help from the blade you know it acts like a big giant flywheel uh, well, they call it a momentum wheel <laughs> over in the UK or wherever. But anyway, maybe Australia. But uh, easy. All right, I'm gonna put this on. Like I said, for a little bit of a choke. All right, now let's pour our fuel in. I don't know what you guys are seeing. I don't have the screen turned around here. Okay, now we'll put the fuel in. Whoops, or on, whatever. And I'll put a good bit in. All right, it's got, it's got about three-fourths of a tank of gas, so I don't know what I did with the gas cap. Probably blew it away like I did them screws, but that would be easier to find, although we did find them screws pretty quick, didn't we? Uh, okay, let me find my gas cap, and then we'll try to start this up again. Okay, I hope the sun's not too bright for you. Let's, uh, let's fire this up again if it will and I found my cap it was over there must have rolled around when I uh, when I tilted it up to blow the tank out Okay guys, that's a sign of a fuel delivery problem or um, water in it. My guess is probably water, but I'm going to keep doing that and when it's getting close I'll kick you back on. There's the problem. Water, dirt, gelatin gel. Alright, let me try to get that cleaned out of there. Alright guys. Let's try it again this time. That was a lot of gunk in there, but everything's fresh now. It could still be a passageway blocked. I don't know. Let's pull it and see. One crank. Let's do it again. Come on, baby.
there we go okay guys so I need to change your battery out and uh, burning some of that dirt off of there and uh, and I'm gonna fire this up and let it run five or ten minutes I don't know what's going on with this thing it's got something weird <laughs> a person a sunshine I don't know I don't know what that's doing uh, intelligent auto okay I don't know <laughs> it's gone now okay guys so like I said I'm gonna start this up let it run a little bit I'm gonna figure out what's going on with that right front wheel left front as you guys were looking at it but the right front wheel don't want to turn the left one is this one I can turn it if I put pressure on it so I'm gonna see what's going on with that that's probably why that other wheel wore out so that other tire wore out so quick but you know I don't know we may just keep it for ourselves who knows so I'm gonna check that out but first I'm gonna let it run a little while let it burn all that dirt out of it I don't see any leaks on the carburetor that seal is a little bit dry so it could start leaking later on if I'm gonna sell it I'll have to put a new o-ring on that uh, on that bowl so like I said let me get you charged up let me fire this up again I'm gonna let it sit and run a little bit and then I'll be back with you guys let you know how it's going so stick around got my old, old man glasses on whoa whoops <laughs> I got um 38 minutes on this battery 16 minutes on the card so I'm gonna make some room on the card too so stick around guys more to come also I was gonna mention this earlier and I for the life of me I can't remember if I did or not Brian and Marla sent me a Christmas card I appreciate it guys Merry Christmas to you guys as well hope all is well there and hope you guys are safe and have fun guys so anyway thanks again Brian Marlin I appreciate it those are my cousins guys they sent me a Christmas card uh, they sent me uh, they sent me a walk they sent me all kinds of stuff they're great people so anyway thanks again guys okay let's talk about it for a second okay guys so I couldn't help it that was bugging me that wheel wouldn't turn it was just full of dirt and the uh, there's a plastic wheels but they have a metal insert well the metal insert was kind of stuck on the shaft so I pulled the wheel off and the metal ins insert stayed so I got it to come off cleaned it all out lubed it up real good check this out There we go. Okay guys, so it's no longer a one wheel peel. It's a posi track. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it seems like they're a little loose. I don't know if I can tighten them up some way or if I can do some welding, you know, to fill in a gap or something. But yeah, that's why that one was all worn out. That wheel wasn't working and they just kept mowing with it. Uh, so I'll see how much a blade costs and the keeper that I need for that I'll put it bottom of the screen here I don't know if we're going to keep it or sell it it would be nice to have a backup since I got rid of my uh, my simplicity because it would it had carburetor issues but it would run long enough to to cut the grass 
uh, at least until I get mine going. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, I'm guessing I would say, I don't know. I gave him like $50 for a whole bunch of sh just, I bought cameras. I think that weed eater didn't come from an estate sale. That weed eater we fixed, <coughs> excuse me, the other day came from there. I got some stove pipe. Um, I got all kinds of stuff off of him. I think I gave him 50 fifty dollars I think fifty bucks it was one money for a whole bunch of stuff this thing I got this it needs a blade it is missing a blade and he said there was something else uh, some kind of issue but he said it will run so let's say I got twenty bucks in it if I'm gonna have twenty in a blade and stuff that's forty bucks um, I'm not gonna put a tire on it those are expensive too but I don't know you know maybe I'll put it off for sale for eighty bucks come down to seventy five you know, then I'm almost doubling my money. We'll just have to see. I'll get it cleaned up, and we'll go from there. It's still kind of running a little funny, but remember that blade helps it run right, too. And also, um, you know, we didn't pull the plug. I don't know what it... You, you've probably seen it, though. It, it looks like it's original to me, so it could probably use a new plug. It's got fresh fuel in it. I, I don't see anything wrong with the carburetor not bad for sitting a couple years i know it's been two years we've had it sitting and like i said for like a year year and a half i forgot i even had it <laughs> and you know it wasn't covered up you saw it that's where i dug it out from you know once i about four squirrels over there across the street chasing each other making a hell of a racket but you know i had it before we built the shed i do believe and we just put it beside the shed and I just never, like I said, I parked it back there and forgot I had it. So I don't know what the issue was. He said it had issues. I can't remember if he told me it had issues or if he told me it had issues and told me what they were. I don't know because I think he got it at an estate sale. But I do remember him saying, you know, it's got issues. Maybe it was because a blade was missing. Who knows? Uh... But I'm guessing if I would have, because see, it came out of a garage when he got it, and it went back into a garage, and then I got it out of the garage he had it in. So I'm betting I probably could have put some gas in it and fired it up back then. I wouldn't have had to do this, you know, taking it apart and cleaning it and stuff. But it does seem like it runs good. It doesn't, I don't hear any knocking in it. You know, of course, I'll change the oil. Um, it sounds good, so I don't know. Uh... There it is, guys. Will it run? Yes, it will. All right, stay tuned for more videos. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I hope your week goes great and or is going great. You're not going to see this video today. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll probably see it tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. But anyway, I, re I really appreciate it appreciate all you guys support and comments love the comments and I, I i really like when you guys get to talking to each other in the comments that's awesome you know we're a community let's stick together let's uh let's make youtube the way it's supposed to be again it's supposed to be you know about us not about this you know yeah a little of this is nice but let's not you know whore our channels out just to make some money you know all right guys shea bear the myth the man legend i'm gone for now again thanks for watching i really appreciate it and uh guys stay safe we'll see you soon bye bye guys and take care